going to describe two capabilities that are relatively new to SaaS. We've recently launched these two solution sets that enable us, firstly, to understand the experience that a customer is having whilst they're on your internet site. And secondly, to make decisions in real time in an inbound channel, such as the internet. It also applies to things like the call center as well. So I'm going to describe very briefly those two pieces, the solution, the technology that sits behind that. And then what I want to do is to finish off saying, well, where if we put those two pieces together, could this take us in terms of the capability of delivering a dynamic, personalized web experience for your customers? And I'm going to use a particular prop in this final demonstration, which is the SAS.com website. And I'm going to take the opportunity of revealing to you where the SAS.com website is not particularly good. Okay, two pieces of technology. I'm actually going to start with the real-time decisioning technology. What do we mean by making decisions in real time? Customer comes into you as an organization. There are a number of channels that you have. The call center, your website, if you're a bank, the ATMs, if you're a shop, the retail branches, and so on and so forth. That customer will come in and will inquire, complain, do all sorts of things, want to buy something, want to sell something, whatever it is. Real-time decisioning is about evaluating that customer and the circumstance and working out what is the next best action to take now that that customer has come in. It's not something that necessarily you can predetermine because you don't know the circumstance and you don't know if that customer has, will change through what he tells you. So it is not just a delivery of a next best offer that you have predetermined, Better still, it is a re-evaluation of what that next best offer or next best action should be. Purely from a marketing standpoint, the question is, why would that be valuable? Well, some research that was conducted by the Gartner Analytics or Analysts Organization indicated that from a marketing response rate perspective, your standard outbound marketing campaigns give a typical response rate of around about 3%. If you're using event-driven type technologies, which we can help you with, that goes up quite significantly. But it is still fundamentally an outbound thing. Event-driven marketing is about observing their financial transactions and seeing patterns in behavior there and opening up a call on the back of that. That's what I'm meaning there. Here, though, the customer has come to you. They are automatically in some form of listening mode because otherwise they wouldn't be with you. And the response rate there is around the 40% mark for typical offers and sales pitches when they come to you. Technically, how does this thing happen? Here you have a range of typical operational systems they are engineered to, at a point in time, I think of them as dumb delivery messenger systems, which has a brain sitting behind it. And at this point in time, they will think, I don't know what to say here. I need a recommendation. Request a decision back to the brain, which will run some sort of decisioning flow, saying if they look like this, look like that, here's an analytics, piece of analytics, if they're more likely to want this than that, and so on and so forth. And that will return the decision, the recommendation, back to the calling system to be shown upon the screen, whether it's the web page or whether it is a pop-up in the call center, whatever it is. The key to this, from a technical perspective, is the architecture that essentially calls out web services, open standard integration. We have a brain that sits behind your call center systems. I don't care what, what technology it uses, so long as it can call a web service. Right, that's the technology bit out of the way. What do we mean by a marketing decision? Well, there's a whole set of marketing 
decisions that can be made. The most standard one that I ever enter into a conversation about is next best offer. You want to know what to offer to the customer. And I'm going to show you how that gets constructed in a moment. But there are a whole range of other marketing decisions primarily driven around things like bundling, terms and conditions of an agreement or an account, and price. So decisions about how much do you discount, dynamic relationship pricing, price plan optimization, all those things, most organizations already have technology that helps them deliver that, but the insertion of further analytics to fine tune and optimize that is actually going to be very, very valuable. But these are marketing and sales decisions. The same technology and the same concept can be applied to other decisions. Dave's already talked a little bit about um, the debt management side in terms of optimization for outbound calls that you make. Well, if somebody is in trouble to pay a bill and come in, you need a real-time decision as well. Similar kinds of technology debt collection, referral, decisioning, and things like that, this technology can help you there. Give you one other example. If somebody comes in to complain, um, they've just received their account statement or bill, and there's an item on the bill that they disagree with. There's quite a famous, quite a famous story recently of a solicitor in the UK who went on holiday and used the, her mobile phone to um, mobile phone and the laptop in order to get uh, download a whole series of TV programs using a thing called BBC iPlayer, which is a sort of download service, and you get TV programs. What she didn't realise was this is a data service that was taking. She was running it, streaming it down uh, online. And it was 90 minutes of data service on a roaming basis. I think the bill came to £15,000. Now, she, she was expensing it to the company. This was causing a problem, as I'm sure you can imagine. So, the complaint came in. Oh, I didn't realise it was going to come. Look, here's the small print of the contract, so on and so forth. The decision had to be made what to do for that person and of course a decisioning process in terms of how valuable is that customer how much of bandwidth has she can just consumed I think she got away with it credit approval call center queue routing They've all sorts of decisions around every organization where the analytics about a customer about their desires their their propensity to respond is going to take is going to be important. 